Hi everybody, I'm Christy Jones. Hello, my name is uh, Patrick Jones. Hi, I'm Catherine Strum, and I play Percy Talbot in The Spitfire Girl. One of the challenging moments or pieces of, the, of putting together this show was making the, the passage of time consistent and obvious for the audience. The show goes through, I think it's like a year and a half, two years, just put that out there, but um, it's, it's difficult to um, make sure that's consistent and keep that in the back of your brain as far as your relationships with the other characters and um, as far as where like Percy's at um, emotionally and, and things like that. That was one of the more challenging parts for me. What I enjoy most about the story of the Spitfire Grill is the sense of community uh, that it kind of brings out in a small town. Um, there's hardships, there's love, there's laughter, and it's some themes that really everybody can kind of relate to when it comes to just everyday life. Imagine gossiping Gilead. Oh, I'm not one to repeat gossip. No, Effie, you're always the one who starts it. Say what you want, say what you will, something's cooking at the Spitfire Grill. What can I bring you? The nature of the show is so collaborative and that Scott, the director, was so great with involving everybody, talking to everyone about their thoughts about their character, um, getting us to talk together. We did a table, uh, table talk where we all talked about our thoughts about one another's characters and how they interacted, what their past relationships were like before we're seeing them in the shows, and it's just wonderful to be able to do that, to talk about backstory with your characters, with all the other actors present. It's, it adds so much depth to the characters and to the meaning of the show and to their story arc. Um, dear Mrs. Ferguson, if your grill goes to me, I will do my best to preserve its quaint, rustic charm. One of my favorite moments in The Spitfire Grill, hard to choose. Um, I think it's the number shine for me. It's um, in the second act, and it's a number that anybody can relate to. The lyrics are very powerful. You know, she starts at this very low point, and it's a song all about redemption because by the end she realizes that, you know, spoiler alert, that she has, there are parts of her that are still good, and it's just so cathartic to be able to play that and to, um, to be able to sing about something that's so relevant to any any person in the audience. Say what you will, don't ask me why she's here. I only wish I knew. Gilead's a place for leaving, not for coming to. Gilead's a place for leaving, not for coming to. Something's cooking at the street fire. I think that one of the things we've discovered about this piece, and I think it may have also surprised Scott a little, in, is the depth of the story and the depth and the richness of what's happening in this little tiny gem of a, of a musical. And, and we have all genuinely found those truths about these characters that their relationship, uh, for instance, my moments with Caleb, my nephew in the story, became deeper and stronger and more genuine and built on something very important and very real in the past. And that just made it come alive, rehearsal by rehearsal. It's a story about hope, it's a story about redemption, and a story about forgiveness. And I think all of us need a little bit more of that in this world and need to be reminded of how we can bring about that hope in the world. And this old grill has come alive.